pi flap plus t is a modification of z plus t that is commonly known as a jumping man flap. Pi flap plus t is basically a combination of two posing z plus t's on both side and a vy advancement flap in the middle. So this is a pi flap plus t. This is y limb and these two are z. This y limb will convert into a v. So for drawing a pi flap plus t, first of all we have to draw the central limb that is the contracture diagonal. Then on both end of the central limb we have to draw another two line with an angle of 75 degree on each side. Then we have to draw the y limb. This is y limb and this should be with an angle of 60 degree. So A, this is B and this is central flap, this is C, this is D and this is E. So total 5 flap. So after releasing the contracture, the flap will be transposed in such a way that B will change its position with A and A will come here and this C will advance, advance like this and the E will change position with the D and D will change position with E. D will come here and E will come to this point. So finally, after releasing the contracture, the drawings will be like this, B, A, central is C and this is E and this is D. So this is a very common flap used for releasing contracture of the first wave space. If we draw a pi flap plus T here, this, this will be the central line that is the contractual diagonal and then another line will be drawn like this. This, this is 75 degree. The Y limb will be drawn in such a way that this angle becomes 60 degree. So here is pi flaps. If we start here A, B and this central flap C, this is D and this is A. So finally after release, this will be like this is one flap, this is another flap, this will be central flap, and this is the next flap. So this will be B, this is A, the central flap C. Here the E flap will come here, and this will be finally D flap.